Hi, welcome. I'm Rachel from Lumsden Florist. And today you have got this awesome kit to make a Grinch tree out of everlasting green. So we were asked to do this and I had never, I, why wouldn't I use fresh greenery? It smells so good and I like it, but we decided to give it a shot and make uh, one with everlasting greenery. So it's totally different kettle of fish than doing it with the fresh stuff. Uh, I'm just going to tilt my camera, which is teetering on a stick here, so don't mind me. There. Okay, so you should have gotten a little tree, right? Um, some ornaments, pine cones, and wire. Uh, some kind of a container. They will not be the same, a thousand percent. And one thing you will probably want is honestly some needle nose pliers would be great because they have a cutter built in there in the crotch. I don't know if you know that. That's what that is there. Anyway, these are going to come in handy. So let's get started, shall we? We are going to simply set that guy in there now. You could glue it in there. I don't know what it's like at your house if you're crazy, but you know, honestly, this ceramic container or if I do a glass container, if this thing goes flying, whether it's glued in or not, it's not gonna be the greatest thing. So personally, I'm not gonna bother to glue it, but you could if you want it. If you have a glue gun and you wanna glue gun this guy in there, go right ahead. Now, we are gonna to wanna to be able to attach some things down in here. So you, if you, I don't know if you felt this white stuff, I don't know what it is, plaster of Paris. I have no clue, but it is not something you can easily stab something into. So with your kit, you will have gotten some foam. Now I just have a full size piece. You won't have gotten a piece this big. We'll have cut it down, but oh, personally, I hate the sound of this stuff when you cut it. Ooh. Anyway, there, thank God that's done. What I'm gonna do is just simply place that on either side and then shove it in there so it's something we can poke things into that'll stay with this again if you wanted you could glue it in there I'm not going to bother because again if this thing goes flying to the floor the whole thing is going to shatter anyways but up to you you go ahead if you like to glue things and you have a gun I totally get it. I have a glue gun and I am a bit of a, it's kind of like me with a spray can, watch out. Okay, so for this product project, what you're gonna wanna do is all the lower branches, we're actually gonna wanna just push a bunch of these guys down. And I don't know how many, it doesn't really matter. But this is the, this is the base of your tree, okay, and then this part, I'm going to tilt you back up just a bit. There we go. So see, this is your side view. So I've got these pushed down and the top is there, right? See that? Okay. So that's what you're going to want to do. And then one other thing you will have received is one extra piece of evergreen just all on its own here and we're going to use this to attach to the top of your tree. I'm just going to lay this guy down on his side. So basically we're going to attach this on the top to make the top longer because just to make it easier to bend into that Grinch tree shape. Okay so what we're going to do kind of pull some of these guys back we can fluff it up again after so don't worry uh, I'm really just gonna stab the actually let's cheat and we're gonna bend that end into a candy cane shape and we're gonna hook it so I really just went in around a branch and kind of hooked it on this guy oh, this guy wants to get in on it too you stay out of there for a minute I just want it on one and then I'm going to actually 
bend that around the main branch. So like there's a main branch in there. Can you see that? It's kind of hard to tell with all these bits and pieces, but you can kind of see it's wrapped the main branch with some sort of like similar to this, but maybe a different color. So I'm going to go around that and then just kind of twist that guy up there. And then as long as you give it at the tug test and it doesn't come off, perfect. Wiggle out my pot, Donnie, so I'm going to slip it back into the pot. Okay, so now my tree is much taller because this part is going to be bent over, okay? Maybe I will stand you up some more yet. There. Okay. So push those guys back down. Yeah, sure. Because this part we're going to be gathering into the Grinch shape anyways. So we're just going to kind of ignore this stuff for now. And... Now we have different colors of this, but there'll be a long, skinny, kind of flimsy wire. Sometimes we have it uh, wrapped around a stick. Other times it's just in loops like this. If you've got the loopy stuff, um, you're going to want to untwist where it's attached here. And hold on to it tight before you get it all undone, because if you let it go, my gosh, it gets tangled and it's terrible stuff. You will find that out. So you want to tease off, I'm going to stand back so you can see, and of course you can't really see the wire, it disappears, even though it's red, it totally does disappear. You probably want to take, you want about a, a good wingspan worth, and of course this is where our needle nose pliers are lovely, just cut that, I'm going to wrap this back around there just so the whole thing doesn't come all crazy. Okay, so now I've got this long red wire. It's a thin little guy, okay? What I'm gonna do is take this end piece and I'm just gonna go around one branch down at the bottom. I'm gonna go around it and then twist tie the red wire back on itself. And again, your wire might be silver, gold, or red, or maybe even another color, maybe some year old, well, I guess one year I had purple. Whatever color your long skinny wire is, attach it to a branch. And then just, again, as long as it's, uh, we don't want it to slip off the top, but as long as it's attached on there, good. Right? This guy ain't coming off. Perfect. Now, I'm pull my sleeves up. Whew. Okay, so now we are going to start just twirling this wire around those branches. Now, you don't want to pull it too tight unless you really want a, a skinny Grinch, Grinch tree. I like my Grinch trees that have a little bit of girth. So... I'm gonna leave that kind of fat. And okay. Now, once I get about to where it's starting to get skinny, okay, you'll notice when you're doing it, then you're gonna want to bend it over into this candy cane sort of shape. And then Simply wire around like that. And then you can leave a piece, can you see that? Leave the piece of the wire. My piece of wire is about this long on there. That's fine, even if it's only that long, that's perfect. We're gonna use this wire. Let's do it right now, and then it's done, to attach our large ornament. So, There we go, just feed it through and then I simply wrap the wire back on itself and then I'll fold it in a nice little L shape. I'm gonna move it closer so you can have a better view of what the heck I'm talking about. Can you kind of see that little, there, let me put my finger behind it, a little L shape piece right there. Yeah, okay, so then I'm gonna be able to stab it back in on itself and then just pinch it there. So it's so it's connected, but it's not like crazy, but come on, like this thing is still very much attached. Um, 
and then there we go. I'm just gonna back up with it so you can see. Okay, there's the top of our Grinch tree, right? That's not hard. Now, for the bottom parts here, I'm gonna back up just a little bit. Hold on. So, you're gonna have a couple pieces of just other greenery. And of course, this is fake greenery because it was requested for this to be made out of faux materials. But I, you're gonna have, you know, a couple random plastic other greenery to attach in there. Oh, come on you. Okay, so I'm just maybe just gonna set these aside for now, just for a second. There they are, I'm gonna set them here. Typically, I like to have, let me turn this guy, the parts in the front be shorter than the ones in the back. You could leave them just like this, but I'm, I'm actually going to angle these guys just back in on themselves, but all slightly different, different lengths. And I'm going to have some sticking up a little more like this and some sticking down like that. Okay, just to kind of fill this in. going as I go here just gonna turn that so you can see how I'm doing it there so see now it's quite a bit shorter in the front and longer in the back I'm gonna do that on this side too yeah like not hard at all right just simply folding those ends in on themselves and making some stick this way and some stick that way just to fill things in and now that I'm near the back This one. Okay. See that? Longer in the back? That's just how I like it. I don't know. And you can curl it up. You can make it swoop down because, of course, these guys are wired. You can bend them as you wish. Totally up to you. Play around with it a little bit. Maybe you want to have them all bent in. I think I'm going to bend a couple more kind of in there. Oops. Hold still there, buddy. I'm just going to leave a, a thick. I just left actually just three or four longer guys. Okay, so now with your fake evergreen, or they're not evergreens, other greenery, really you're just gonna stab them in wherever you wish. I usually like to kind of go near the, the base of the tree if this part that we wrapped with the wire is the tree. And then, especially if it's a longer piece, I'm gonna put it towards the back because that's where I left my longer bits. So this is where, and when you poke it in there, you wanna find that foam that we tucked in on the edge, remember? And if your foam isn't quite in the right spot, you just might have to move it. Which I might do, I might just lift the whole thing up. Oof, just a little. There we go. Now that's a handier spot. Tuck that guy in there. There's more foam, perfect. Okay. So there is my greened Grinch tree. Cute, right? Now I like this shape that goes like fairly straight up and then just a bit curled at the end. Um, and with this sort of tree, the way we do this compared to the fresh, it's going to be a lot easier to get this shape. And it's less tippy than if you have a really big curving arc of an arm. Then they tip over easily. Okay. So the next thing I like to do is the pine cones. So you should have some, some thicker green wires. I'm holding this up, but there it is. Here's one. Uh, yeah. So 
This is how we wire a pine cone. You can decide if you want your pine cone the bum to stick up or the front. I'm going to make the front stick up, which means I'm going to put the wire at the bum. Okay, so I hold my wire in between a few like teeth of the pine cone and I'm going to hold of this end, which is sticking about, you know, about the width of my finger, about a centimeter there. I'm going to hold it there with this finger on my non-dominant hand. It's kind of holding it down in against some teeth. Can you see that? And then with this, the long end of the wire, I'm going to just weave it through the teeth right back to where I started from. There's that short wire. See that? Okay, and then I'm going to grab the two of them. If you have your needle nose pliers, where's mine? You can grab those with the needle nose pliers, both ends, and just twist your pine cone and voila! This guy is now wired and you can stab him into things. You could wire it on, however you want. So, let me see here. <clears throat> really, there's no real rhyme or reason. Stab that guy down again. You want to try and hit the foam. And you can go ahead and wire your other pine cones. Actually, I'm going to show you how to wire everything first. Then you can go ahead and decorate. So then with ornaments, let's skip that guy. See that? I just simply pull this little plastic thing off. So you've got that little funny nipply thing sticking up. And it's very similar to wiring the pine cone. I'm going to take the uh, wire and place it up against that nipple. And this is sticking out again about a centimeter. And I'm going to hold it actually with my non-dominant thumb right there. Okay. And then with this hand, my dominant hand, I'm going to very strongly and tightly wrap that around there with strong hands. And ta-da! I'm done. Now it's like a little balloon on there. And it's ready then to be poked down inside. Like that. Right? So that's how you wire those guys. Something like a star. Again, all of our ornaments, we often only have one or two of each type, so um, there's there's always all different kinds, and some are trickier than others to wire. But with these guys, I usually just go through a little spot. See, pierce that through, fold it so it's like a little candy cane there. Can you see that? It goes. There you go. Then I'm just gonna wrap that guy around and now it's ready to stab in as well i'm going to do this one part way up there and when to go in the sh the main shaft of the tree whatever you want to call it it's really just shove it in there with the wire going down it's simple uh if you are going to put lights on your tree i would go ahead and do that now because after the ornaments are on, a little bit trickier. And really, it could be done. Totally can be done. Don't, don't stress if you started already. And um, yeah. So you're going to want to go ahead, wire your ornaments, and start putting those in. We are going to make a bow as well. Um, what color bow should I do? Hmm. Hold on. I'm going to get my ribbon ready. Yours will be with your kit. Grab it. Okay. I've got my ribbon. I'm going to show you how to make a bow. Bow making is tricky. This is probably the area most people struggle with. But I'm going to show you how, and if it works out, great. If it doesn't, don't stress. Just tie a bow like you would on a shoe. It'll be just as pretty. So when I start with bow making, I usually have, I don't know, whatever that is, six, seven inches-ish hanging down, and the long bit hanging in the back, okay? Now I'm going to grip it about halfway, so this part is a loop of the bow on top and the other tail's hanging and every time this long piece of ribbon passes between this hand that's holding the bow that I'm making, I am going to twist that and then it's the twist stays under my finger that's holding. Okay, so now we've got one bow on top, one loop of the bow and our ribbon's going down. What we're essentially going to be doing is making a figure eight 
for this bow with you holding the center of the bow which is how we're going to wire it and then stick it in the tree you can fluff it up make it pretty after so don't stress about making it pretty now waste of time worry about making the bow make it pretty after one thing i see a lot is people put all the loops on top don't do that you're shooting yourself in the foot you need to have the figure eight loops on top loops on the bottom with your hand in the middle so now i'm going to try and have my loops fairly even they don't have to be you can make them crazy if you want to why not but typically for this exercise we're going to make them fairly even so you can see the figure eight shape there and when this passes through these fingers i'm going to twist it in the back okay and now i'm making another loop on top get what are you and twisting that when it passes through these fingers and another twist another twist last loop another twist so now i'm holding all the loops between these two fingers then you're going to want one of your fancy green wires yeah there he is you can see him there hovering in front of you and when you're holding your ribbon like this i it's like the okay sort of symbol i take the the wire see i'm stabbing myself in the hand and put it through this circle my forefinger and my thumb are making see the wire is going all the way through and that way i can easily wrap it all the way around the bow now it's right where the twists are the the wire is on either side i'm gonna just pull that as tight as possible then grab your needle nose pliers and twist that nice and tight there's our bow it may or not look pretty but this is when you can fluff it and stick it in your Grinch tree I'll be right back okay so I tucked my bow in there I tend to like to put my larger ornaments in the bottom and then feed my small balls in along the top like up the tree like of course you can do whatever you wish but see I just tuck that guy in there and I'll put this one right there almost too far in. I still have my two pine cones in place. Oops. And if it doesn't want to go in one spot, just kind of keep wiggling until you find where it kind of gives on you. Okay. I think. And before I place my last two pine cones, I'm just going to pick the spots where I feel they need it most. Perfect. Okay, there you go. Ta-da! Everlasting Grinch tree. You could just slip this a bag over him to keep the dust off and store it. Of course, watch your container because containers don't bounce. And you're done. That's all there is to it. Thank you so much for joining me today and I appreciate it. We do private classes. Um, if you have a workshop idea that you'd like me to do, you can always send it to me. And if I can do it, I will sort that out and try to make it happen for you. Have a great day. Merry Christmas.